Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray that you are all well. Um, this is going to be a quick word from the Lord concerning promotions and him handing out upgrades in this season. So I'm going to kind of walk you all through how I received this word and how the Holy Spirit taught me a beautiful uh, lesson via one of the trips that I just took. So um, I was traveling at the airport and as I'm sitting at the gate, I'm there a bit early. So I remember scrolling on my phone and the Holy Spirit was kind of reviewing with me some things that I need to go back and do. This is kind of sidebar. Um, the Holy Spirit will do that sometimes because our words hold so much weight in the heavens. Whenever you give your word that you're going to do something and you don't do it, it is recorded against you. And so the Holy Spirit is so beautiful. Um, he will come and remind you, hey, remember that you told this person that you will call them back. Or remember that this person wants to meet with you. Remember um, that you said that you would review something in your email or whatever it is. It could be the, the simplest of things, even things around the house that, you know, I said that I was going to do this on Monday and then Monday passed and I didn't do it. So that's kind of what I was doing. I was trying to use the time effectively instead of people watching while I was at the gate waiting for my flight. So I keep hearing the, um, the gate agent say that this is an extremely full flight and the overhead bids, bins, would probably be full and i'm looking and i'm like mm. now <laughs> i'm very meticulous when it comes to certain things and when i know that i'm checking luggage i take specific luggage with me if that makes sense and then i have my luggage that i take when i know that i'm not checking anything so that's the luggage that i'm carrying and the reason that i do that is because i don't want my good bags to get all scuffed up and marked up when the baggage handlers are throwing them around and everything so i'm looking at the bag and i'm listening i'm looking and i'm listening i'm like oh jeez. i'm like i really don't want to check this bag but you know what okay i'm gonna do it so i roll up and i say i'd like to volunteer to <laughs> check my bag and she says, oh, thank you so much. Bless you for this. Bless you for this. And she said, you know what? You can step aside and you can go ahead and board the flight right now. And I think, oh, oh, great. Well, thanks. You know? So as I um, am giving over my boarding pass, the other gate agent scans it and he says, wait a minute. The machine starts to print something and it's an upgraded ticket. So um, if, if you're following this, so far I've checked my bag, I've gotten to now board early, but now something else is happening. And what I didn't know is that I was getting a free seat upgrade. The system chose me to give me this, or they gave it to me because I was kind to them, I don't know. But nevertheless, I took that as a gift from the Lord. So I'm thinking, wow, Lord, you know, all I did was go up to the counter and give my yes. And then I received the upgrade. So fast forward, I fly to my destination. You know, it's a it's a long day for me because I worked all day. I flew in at night. It is about 1030. And I finally get to the front desk of my hotel. All I want to do is find something to eat, anoint and bless my room, take a shower and go to bed. So as I am chatting with the... Um, with the receptionist at the hotel, he, uh, him and I are going back and forth. And I tell him, I said, do you have anything that is on maybe the third floor or higher? Because I don't like to stay in hotels by myself on the, on the lower levels. He's like, oh, okay. Doesn't say anything else to me. Um, then all of a sudden he says, we can push you up on the 16th floor. Is that okay? I thought about it. And at that moment, I thought that's kind of high. Like if there's an emergency or if something happens, I have a long way to get down and out. But I said, you know what? That's fine. 16th floor is fine. I don't want to be too difficult. I'm already putting in the special request with not being on the ground. And you know, I'll just take whatever you give me. I don't, I don't like to be that difficult person, but I will speak up for what I want. So anyway, I, um, I get my key and everything. I get in the elevator, go up to the 16th floor. My key works great because that's the other thing. I'm like, please let this work. Please let this work. <laughs> I open it and it is not a standard hotel room. I have opened it to a penthouse suite. And the shock that took over at that point 
I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm only here two days. I should extend. But another upgrade. And so at this moment, I start to realize, wait, the Lord is definitely doing something and he's speaking loud and clear here. And the word that he gave me attached to this is your upgrade is attached to your yes. Notice every single time I was upgraded and it kept happening throughout the trip. I'm not going to make this video go, you know, 30 minutes long telling you guys all the times that he's the Lord did this on this trip. But I gave these first two examples because they're when I received the word. So Every time it was time for me to be upgraded, I had to give a yes. I had to walk up and say, yes, I will check my bags early in order to then receive the ability to board early. And then again, the ability to be upgraded. When I was at the hotel, he asked me, is the 16th floor okay? He didn't say, is it okay if we put you in the penthouse, ma'am? He just said, is the 16th floor okay? And despite my apprehension, I still said yes. And I received that upgrade. So what the Lord is saying to all of you in this time is that the upgrades are here. The upgrades are coming, but you must open your mouth and say yes. You must receive what it is that I am sending you. What I'm sending isn't going to bum rush you in the sense where it's not going to overtake you like a wave. There'll be subtle things that you must say yes to. Even though some of the things you may not want to say yes right away, you might be like, eh, let me think about this. Let me pray about this. Let me give your yes. When you give your yes, it allows the door to open. It allows the Lord to move. Amen. So, as you are going through your day to day, make sure that you're giving the Lord your yes. Make sure that you're telling him, yes, Lord, I want what you have for me in this season. I want whatever it is. Sometimes we pray and we pray targeted prayers and I've fallen victim to this previously. So we pray these targeted prayers. We want to pray in such a prophet's way. We want to pray in such a prophetic way, right? That sometimes we just miss where we just need to say, Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. And in him having your way, it brings forth the very things that you need. If you're praying specific, specific prayers for something, that's great. And the Lord hears those petitions. But understand that as you're waiting on something, there's always something in line to be released. Amen. The Lord is a Lord that continuously releases. There's no pauses in the kingdom of heaven. He doesn't say, today, we're going to take the day off and we're not going to pour out to our children. He doesn't say that, right? So by praying and asking the Lord to have his way and giving him your yes, it puts you in alignment to receive the things that you're supposed to receive. I know a lot of you that are, are listening to me and watching me are waiting to be married and understand, right, that as you pray for your marriage, as you fast for your marriage, as you contend in the spirit for the person or the woman or the man that the Lord said is yours, as you contend for them, right, there's things that the Lord also wants to release to you. Say yes to those things as well. Say yes to his release. Say yes to his upgrade and watch the hand of the Lord move. I pray that this blesses you. This is a little bit longer <laughs> than I typically um, than I typically make videos, but I wanted to go ahead and put how I got the word in here um, so that you could see that it's in such practical ways that we can hear the voice of the Lord, such practical ways that the Lord will say, hey, I'm taking you into a season of upgrade. Just give me your yes. So I pray that this blesses you. I love all of you all with the love of Christ. I have started offering one-on-ones uh, -on again. I'm going to put, um, actually my email address will be in the description box. If you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one session, I did move them to 30 minutes so I can fit in more people and I do have limited availability. But nevertheless, email me. I will send you the link. Um, and you can go and you can schedule an appointment to meet with me to um, to receive the word of the Lord, to pray, to talk, to vent, whatever it is that you need. I love you all with the love of Christ and I will see you soon.